in 48 firewall we can take backup of configuration file either using web ui portal web user interface mode or cli command right cli command is execute backup and if we want to take full backup then full config simply we can put a question mark to get help over here right so CLI command is one way, another method is using web user interface mode. So on right corner, we have like here admin option. So if we click admin under configuration, uh, here like we find option to take backup, restore, revisions and script, right? So backup restore, I hope you understand. Revision is basically configuration revision. So we can create configuration revision number over here. And configuration revision number is helpful, very helpful in fact, to revert configuration, to go back to the previous configuration, right? So if you want, then yes, you can create configuration revision also from here. Backup restore, I hope you understand, right? So it's very simple, very easy admin configuration and here we have option backup and even backup uh, file can be placed on directly on usb drive local drive can be password protected here we have restore option configuration revision and scripts right so i hope you know like how to take backup how to restore configuration file in 40 gate firewall my objective here is a bit different right my objective is to show you how we can automate backup in 40 gate firewall how we can use automation or cli script right how we can schedule backup of configuration file in 40 gate firewall not doing manually backup right so in order to do that just navigate to security fabric right security fabric and here like there is one option automation automation right security fabric and then automation and what we are going to do here like first we are going to create cli script cli script right from here action tab there are three different tabs trigger action and stitch so once like cli script is created and trigger option is also configured then we will stitch both together under this stitch option i'm going to practically show you and i'm going to show you how we can take backup of 40 gate firewall ips uh, like 1.21 uh, to tftp server right so i have tftp server installed on my laptop tftp is running and very small uh, tftp server 3c daemon is free and here is 40 gate firewall and of course there is ip reachability so my 40 gate firewall is like reachable from my laptop that is tftp server so tftp server address ip address is 192.168.1.81 and 40 gate firewall ip is 192.168.1.21 1.68.1.21 in the same IP subnet, right? And there is IP reachability. Okay. Objective is to automate backup of 40 gate firewall configuration file, right? Not doing backup manually. We want to automate the whole process. So, first go to action right here and click create new and look for CLI script. And here we have CLI script option, right? And we can give any name. So let me give one name, backup script. Okay, interval, no need to send any interval. Description here, of course, is a CLI script to take backup and here like we have option like cli script and script so we can run the command here 
right command would be execute backup and in case if you are not sure right like uh, if you want to take help and you're not sure like about the command syntax so simply you can click here record in cli console here right and now we can run the command like execute backup and put a question mark here so we want to take full config backup so full config and the where we want to put the backup tftp server right and make sure that tftp server is running so let me open tftp server so here is the tftp server right t3c daemon and config directory is uh, tftp directory right and as so there is no file here you can see empty directory there is empty folder there is no file in it right so we want to execute backup command full config tftp and then the path so directory name or folder name is tftp slash and then backup file name like backup dot cfg configuration file tftp server ip address 192.168.1.81 right so let me see like whether command is working as expected or not right so head down enter here and see here please wait connect to tftp server send config file to tftp server okay so now verified and here you can see right there is no issue with the command syntax you can see command syntax is proper correct right bytes received and here we can also do verification from here also tftp and here you can see my backup.cfg file right all right so i have deleted now backup file so copy command syntax from here right click copy close this window and type here so execute backup full config tftp and then tftp backup file and here is the tftp server ip address right in case if we want like uh, file not to be overwritten because now let's say we want to schedule backup and we do not want like the same file should be overwritten right we want a new file uh, maybe with date time right so yes that can also be done if we use variables from here right in case if variable is used then yes automatically date and uh, time will be added right so how we can do that like what will be the syntax so here like syntax will be a bit changed now because tftp here tftp and then a uh, file name like my backup or backup dot cfg right and then what we want we want to use this variable and here you can if you want to take help then you can read more about like how to use variables so here like i want to use m percent m percent date right and dot cfg right at least date and uh, administrator profile so select super admin from here super admin super admin is the administrator profile so we are good to go now like name description of course not mandatory optional A script yes mandatory and administrator profile head down okay so first step successfully done action is created here cli script now the next configuration would be trigger so now here again uh, go to the same security fabric automation trigger and create new and from here like there are multiple options right so but we are interested in like uh, this last option 
if you want to schedule backup or to backup right select and now here like give any name maybe uh, auto backup or backup daily whatever name you want to give you can give here right or maybe uh, simple let's keep it simple my schedule zero one or something description again description is not mandatory here uh, what about the frequency so here like we have daily weekly monthly early so let's say daily and when we want to take the backup hit down okay so step number two is also the now the third option is stitch and again here click here create new name name it like uh, test or something A status should be of course enable and here we have option add trigger right so click add trigger and select the my schedule apply and then here action what action should be taken so remember like we created cli script so we want to run that script right command like execute backup full config right that is script so click here add a script you will find a script created in step number one apply that's it we can add multiple like action here but we are good to go now head down okay so if you want to create another trigger then you can create from here right for example if uh, any events like 40 os event log a specific 40 os event log id has occurred right so for example here if we click here like events so whole bunch of options you can see here admin login disabled admin login failed admin what option although we have here admin login or logout do we have admin just i want to show you quickly like backup admin logout successful all right so yes admin logout description fill filters is all good okay and then we go to a stitch create and here like admin logout backup you, you can give any name right add trigger so when backup should be done admin logout apply add action what to do run a script okay and then okay and here see like there is no file here in the directory empty directory so now i'm going to log out from here and see here immediately backup is done right so and if we go to location and here you can see my backup and year year and also date here right date month and year so this way you can automate backup you can run basically any script here with the help of uh, security fabric automation feature not necessarily uh, only the backup event we can run any script so total there are three steps here i hope you understand right so first step is create for example cli a script then step number two is trigger means condition and the third one is a stitch it is both like CLI and uh, trigger option.
ओके